It's MK and I am back with another Christie's Beautiful Life Best of 30 Days of Sketches. And today the sketch that we are using is from Page Maps. Now I pulled out a whole bunch of embellishments that I thought would go really well together. One of them are um, these 49 and Market Tidal Wave paper clips, which I'm not really sure how to use those just yet, but I pulled them out. I also have these uber old tiny tabs from close to my heart, and I think they are supposed to be bent together and then the adhesive sticks on either side of the page. I don't know the answer to that just yet, but we're going to find out. I also have from Minte some Mama Rozzy paper die cuts. And there is the back of the sheet. Um, I picked it out because that blue inside the camera lens matches this Spectrum Sherbert 49 N Market Tidal Wave Ephemera bits or Femra. Uh, die cut bits. Yep, that's what they are. So now what I'm going to be doing is really quickly going through all of these bits and pieces so that way I can see what it is that I want to play with. Now I know that this is a menagerie of elements that uh, aren't normally used together, but some of the colors were very similar. Um, the, the clips had that peachy pink to it. The flowers in the Minte collection had the peachy pink to it, but then it also brought in the blue. And then of course the tidal wave is the, the blues, the teals, the aquas, and um, the greens. Um, the clips also have greens, blues, and then the peaches. And so um, I decided that <laughs> that's, the, that's the tie that is going to bind all of these together. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go through and sort out um, my die cuts from Minte real quick because there are pieces that I might not want to use and pieces that I'm definitely going to use. So I wanted to make sure that they're organized. Same with this big old huge die cut pack from 49 and Market. I definitely wanted it to also be sorted out just like these little circles. Um, I found four of these really cool circles and I thought, oh my gosh, those would also be really cool embellishments too. But then I kept finding more and then I realized, oh, that's just too much. I don't want to use all of them just for this one embellishment cluster. And then I would feel like I wouldn't be able to use them on anything else. So after that, I took out the squares within my frames that came in this die cut pack um, for something else later, later that I'm going to go through. But as soon as I am done, sorting through everything that I feel like I want in this cluster, then I'll, p I'll clear off my desk and get started on actually making embellishments. But I'm just going to go through. Right now it is very blue. Um, I haven't added any other color. Uh, I think I have two little green things in there and that's it. Everything is very, very um, aqua-y blue um, that I have picked out so far because that's what goes together. That's what's matching um, so I'm going to throw in one of those uh, viewfinders, pick and choose which circle bits I want, pick and choose which um, tickets I want. And then, of course, my main title is going to be the snapshots um, and good times. So I'm going to I'm going to combine it to make one giant title. Last thing that I'm going to be adding. No, it's not the last thing because I still have the flowery bits, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go through the flower bits now or as I'm creating. I don't know the answer to that just yet. Oh, it's going to be as I create. Um, so I went through all my, my metal pieces and chose which ones I wanted to be in these clusters as well. And it looks like I did go through the flowers because they're over there on the left. I just didn't show that on camera. All right, so now I've got all of these little bits and pieces. I just scattered them all over to give me inspiration. And what I did was I took a one inch punch, a three quarter inch punch, and a half inch punch. And I'm going to get all of these circles out of the inner piece that normally would have been thrown away um, of those frames that came in the 49 and Market die cut pack. So um, I'm just putting all of my materials to good use. And now I have some really cool um, circles that are of the same color, you know, that are, that match, that are all matchy matchy. Okay, so the first embellishment that I'm going to make is going to be the replicant of what is in my, um, is in my sketch. So I have this sketch, it's got four photos over on, um, over on the left that look like a photo strip. And then of course, two pieces of paper, um, a, a journaling spot, and then above the journaling spot is the cluster embellishment with the title. So what I've done is I've taken my circle, which is the viewfinder, which is representing the scalloped circle. And then on top of it, I have 
Um, I have embellishments and things like that, but I also have just the title. So if I took all that stuff away, it would be the circle and the title. And then of course, instead of a unicorn head, I have a cluster of flowers, right? So in general, that that is the gist of this cluster right here is what I'm stealing from what was already in the layout, right? Um, I don't have a unicorn. Nope don't have that and I don't have a scallop circle instead I have a viewfinder that has you know holes in it so that works for me um and and so does everything else uh I just added more things to it than what was represented in the sketch which when it comes to sketches it is really hard to put down everything that's represented or everything that you could put within that cluster it, it's very hard to um Oh, what's the word to recreate that within a sketch so you know you kind of have to fill in the gaps and and make things happen as they go and I really do like the fact that I've got a ticket and a camera above my word snapshot filling in the hole of the viewfinder is, is what I was trying to do and then of course I wanted it to have that stripe so you've got like a black scallop stripe going through the title and whatnot well that that's where my film strip comes into play that's a, it's a black stripe is what it is it's just crumpled up <laughs> anyways um so that is where that film strip came into play is because it represents the black scallop um, border going all the way across the layout mine doesn't go all the way across it's okay um I, I i miniaturized it and turned it into just the portion of the embellishment that i wanted to take place so right now snapshots good times does not make sense um, so I'm going to add in tiny letters that say the word of, so it's snapshots of good times. Okay. At first I kept reading it wrong, like snapshots of a good time, but then times is plural. So of good times makes sense to me. If it doesn't make sense to you, please let me know because I, I've already put it on my layout and, um, it still makes sense to me. <laughs> Okay, so I went through all of my little bits and now I'm going to just make the clusters. I always start from um, large and work my way down to small because then I have the freedom to use all of the larger elements and then work down to small. Sometimes all it is is you're just adding one little leaf or one little flower, one little brad next to it and, and that is your smaller cluster. Um, so yeah, these are all off the wall. Um, I am not doing any representation of uh you know how does this look like the sketch nothing the the very first one that i did is the one that represented the sketch now i'm going off um you know i'm ad-libbing i guess i should say and just doing what i feel like looks good um based off of these camera lenses i love the idea of having a whole bunch of clusters that have all these camera lenses all over uh, I like the fact that they match the 49 and Market collection very, very well, by the way. And I do have the fussy cut sheet of this um, of these camera lens collections, but um, I didn't feel like fussy cutting. So it, I, that's when I cheat and go to the die, die cut pack. So <laughs> anyways, and I love having, you know, all the things rather than just a few of the things. I, I'm, just, I'm just that way, you guys. Back in the day, I used to, oh, I apologize. Rude, I had to answer a text message. Um, back in the day, I used to purchase all or nothing. That That's exactly how I was. If I wanted a collection, it had to be all or nothing. Um, I, I just felt like I needed, I felt like it doesn't work unless you have every little piece of that collection. Now I have learned, you know, I've learned my ways and have gotten out of that rut because there are lots of things that I have destashed in the past um, that I knew I would never have used. So, but because it was part of that collection, I had to purchase it. And so, I definitely, um, I definitely was in that in that era of I had to have it all. Um, but now I am a little bit more. Uh, there's a lot more thought process into what it is that I purchase, especially um, especially now and especially the prices and whatnot. So anyways, yes, um, and, and I appreciate, you know, what I have a lot more now than what I did. Um, I, I'm not sure what changed in my life. But anyways, I did fold all of my little metal pieces in half and I am gluing them to whatever is behind. I did not want that shiny strip of tab to be showing on my elements. Um, I just wanted the enamel dot mostly. I get, could I have taken it apart? Absolutely. 
absolutely I could have taken it apart but the whole point was to use what I had um, and uh, it, it adds interest it adds dimension as well because it is a bulk added to my project but what I did was I went ahead and I took off both 3M strips and then whatever was behind that I could attach this to which this one in for for instance is the film strip and so that is what I attached it to is um, just a little corner of the film strips and then here I'm showing you guys everything that I had left over that did not make it onto these embellishments but you will see them again when I put the layout together and I'm still not sure exactly what is going on with those um, um, clips those tidal wave clips uh, I haven't figured them out yet they are awfully thick to be just put on a the edge of a, of a photo or something like that they are massively thick so I'm not really sure uh, but I will figure it out when the time comes and these are my little clusters that I have um, that I was inspired by this sketch to create. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to check out Christy's Beautiful Life and the best of 31, uh, 30 days of sketches because the playlist is down below. There are hundreds, hundreds of videos within that playlist, you guys. Go check it out, hours of entertainment, I'm just saying. And then you get ideas of the exact same sketch over and over and over again. I love this, you guys. It is. It has been the best thing um n not just you know creating in the sketches and things like that but having all that organization in one spot and it's one click away is awesome you guys all right thank you so much and i'll check y'all later bye